Frank O'Mara is my name. I'm Director of Research in Chagask and uh, was here, was chairing the first session of our dairy conference this morning up here in Mullingar and we had two very good presentations, one from Pat Dillon looking at the, the Irish um, dairy scene and one from two farmers in New Zealand, Pete and Anne Morgan, who run a relatively large farm, uh, about 500 cows um, in the North Island of New Zealand. And I suppose what fascinated me really was the common themes that came through from the two presentations. While the, the difference in scale is, is quite big, you know, we're, our average farm size here is, is probably something less than, than 90 cows. They're farming, you know, over 500 cows. Uh, probably better climate, you know, in terms of uh, slightly warmer and longer grass grown season. But still a huge amount of similarity in terms of the important things for, for businesses in both countries. And, and they really came down to both presentations, focus very much on the importance of pasture management and getting the most out of our pastures as being the, the one critical underpinning factor for running a successful uh, dairy business. The second uh, strand that, that came, uh, came across in both presentations very strongly was the importance of, of maintaining control and costs and developing a system that's able to cope with low milk prices which will inevitably happen because of the volatility that both our, our industries are exposed to. So having a cost structure in your business that's able to cope with that and then they can take advantage of the, the times when milk prices are better. And the third theme that, that came across strongly in both presentations and, and is a big issue in, in both countries is about labour and getting people interested in, in entering the, the dairy industry and you know we've that challenge here in terms of interesting young people to, to take up the reins of farms and we've problems I suppose to deal with around succession and, and all that and exactly the same problems in New Zealand. They probably have more of an issue about bringing in hired labour because most of the farms would have hired labour but you know that's a growing issue here in Ireland as well and I think it was very interesting to see how they are dealing with that in a very systematic way of you know, trying to ensure that everybody on the farm, from the, the owner operator, the manager, the farm worker, they're all um, part of the business, part of the team and all available of training and upskilling uh, that's appropriate to them. The scale of dairy farm in New Zealand is very big. I think the average herd size out there is something like 350 cows or there thereabouts and growing rapidly. And you know, you have lots of units out there now with 500, 1,000, maybe even 1,500 cows. And uh, you know that units of that size are very, very rare in Ireland. Uh, but still, I suppose the scale is growing in Ireland as well. Now, can we be as successful as them with our smaller scale? Absolutely, I think. You know, we we um, we have a very uh, successful industry. I think the last two years have been very good for the industry from the point of view of being able to expand production for the first time in, in 30 odd years. And even though we've come through a, a dip in milk prices and a very significant dip uh, this year in milk prices, that has been very, uh, cushioned to some extent by the fact that we had this extra production on farms. And the really good thing about that extra production on our farms in the last two years is that generally it didn't require a lot of extra inputs, a lot of, of extra purchased inputs in order to achieve it. So farmers were able to, to capitalise on that extra production to cushion them over this period of, of poor prices. So I think yes, uh, while our scale will never be as big, I think uh, dairy farming in Ireland is consistently the enterprise that returns the highest margin per, per hectare and per farm. And uh, I think we have the ability to have an industry, a growing industry, a vibrant industry uh, that is able to return a decent living to the people that are working in it.